you know, a lazier man might decide to cut up his videos into smaller chunks because it might take a toll on his voice, you know, recording voiceovers over and over and over and over and over. But no, not me. I'm not smart. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up, nobody, and welcome to episode 7 of my Sonic Generations Let's Play. And this time, we're going to be taking on Crisis City. And if you remember from my episode on Seaside Hill, I mentioned that this was the biggest pain in the ass to record, and oh my god, was it. I probably have gotten to a point of this level where I can confidently say that I know probably every secret and every path that you could take in Crisis City because of how many times I've had to repeat it just for this Let's Play alone. Oh my god. For example, that spin dash to the spring, I mastered that by replaying it. I want you to understand something. I'm not good at perfect timing jumps, okay? That's not something I can do. So if you can do it and you are able to pull off jumps like that, more power to you. You are a much better Sonic player than I am. I am not, so to me, being able to do things like that, it, 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 it's impressive for me. <laughs> so let me feel good in the fact that I uh, didn't screw up for once, <laughs> and then laugh at the fact that I screwed up right there. But let me feel good about myself, damn it. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, pulling off jumps like that, nothing I could do on a regular playthrough. This was something that I just happened to get down because I had to repeat the game. I had to repeat the stage so many times. In fact, same with this one. I didn't even know this path was here until this playthrough because of all the fucking hell it put me through. Oh my god. I hate Crisis City. Sonic 06 is a bad game. Why are we representing this? Doing stuff like that, that's, that's, the, 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 these aren't things that I do. Normally I'm too much of a pansy to try to do things like this. Oh, also, I uh, have managed to grab all the red rings that I've seen. Also, um, I said also twice, three times. Also, four times. Also, five times. Yeah, that's not the real stage ending. It's a bitch! I think this is the only game that fakes you out with this, or the only uh, stage in this game that fakes you out with a fake stage. It's not a Sonic 06 is a real game. It doesn't even give you the real finish line the first time either. Just like the original Crisis City, it took the second go around to make things right. This is the second attempt at making Crisis City a good stage. This is my second attempt at getting to the goal. Yeah, that makes sense. This is a representation of Sega as a company in one level. Or one level concept. It takes two to get it right. Also, uh, the uh, stage elements pulling away here after you jump on them. I, I hate that. I really do. <laughs> Especially that one right there, because when you jump on or when you jump up to the next platform and you might need with the wind strength and it might pull you off, uh, suddenly, right as you're about to land on the platform, it just like gets blown away by the tornado. It's like, what a dick move, platform. I needed you. I thought we were bros, platform. Ugh. But that's the first part of Crisis City. Hey, I got all four red rings, and I know where the fifth one is. Huh. So I guess you can kind of use my Let's Play for certain levels that might tell you where the red rings are. Sorry, I'm not that great. It's going to take me a long time. The whole reason I'm not even showing all my footage for recording the 100% is because I want to make sure that you, you know, get a chance to watch this and it comes out in time and I don't miss my schedule. You know, I've got a schedule set up. I want to make sure this comes out in time and I don't miss anything so all the 11 people who subscribe to me can watch it in time if they so desire. Um, <laughs> that said, I uh, will be doing the 100% little bit run, um, or I will not be showing all the 100% run, but I will be showing the results of it. So you'll get to see what a 100% run looks like, you just won't get to see me get there, because that's going to take quite some time. And why did I not homing attack into him? I got robbed. So yeah. Um, I'm sorry if that bums you out, but guys, I just, I both A, don't have the patience to get it all out, 
and recorded and well done. And it's just, it's just, it, it, it wouldn't work. Not in the time frame that I want to get the let's play out. It's just, it wouldn't work. I'm sorry. Hey, look, I almost made it. This makes me cool, right? Right, mom? Right? <laughs> I do not like Crisis City. At least this part of Crisis City. <laughs> there is the really cool part at the end with the tornado speed section that they tried to do in Sonic 06, which they can't do in Sonic 06 because it's a terrible game and high speed sections of the level design in that game were absolutely terrible. What are you gonna do? That was 11 years ago. Holy crap, that was 11 years ago. Wow. <laughs> if you ever needed to feel old, just remember, Sonic 06 is 11 years old. Sonic 06 came out the year YouTube got, like, somewhat popular. I think it was the year James Rolfe started putting out videos. Wow. That's some old news for you. The Angry Video Game Nerds pushing 11. That's nuts. That means Nostalgia Critic's pushing 10. I wonder what he's going to do for his 10-year anniversary. Hell. I have a bunch of different channels on YouTube that I've, you know, kept and lost over the years. You know, I, I, I'm not exactly a perfect YouTuber. Not everything I've tried worked. But um, I also didn't really, you know, focus on any level of content. At that point, when I first joined YouTube, having a channel... Like, you had a few channels that you watched things for, but a lot of people use channels for uh, like social profiles as opposed to like you know before Facebook came out so I had the channel just to have it <laughs> but anyway um yeah this is this, this is the second channel that I've honestly given a lot of effort into as opposed to trying to make it you know at least somewhere whether I get somewhere or not, that doesn't really matter, but hopefully someone can watch this and at least get a joy out of it. A joy. Like, you have one joy. You can have one joy. I can have joy, one joy. As much as I dislike relying on others, I'm grateful for your aid. The creature was beyond my skills. Yeah, yeah, Firehouse Cat, whatever. Hmm. Don't drop that ego. Of course we can't let our guard down. It's a giant, black, floating mass of space and time. How Sonic can beat that is kind of beyond me, but eh, it's a video game. Anyway, now let's get to... I guess you would call this a fan favorite stage. A lot of people like Rooftop Run. Before Sonic Generations, I did not understand why. Now that I have Sonic Generations, I fully understand why. At least this rendition of Rooftop Run is just really, really fun. Also, the remix for Rooftop Run for Modern Sonic is just... Just... Just great. Ugh. I do not like slowing down as Classic Sonic. Come on, let's get the let out. Let's get moving. I'm not a big fan of moving platforms. Like, they, you have to wait on to go up and down. It, it just as a gameplay mechanic, it kind of bothers me. It's supposed to be about going fast, not slowing down to, you know, drag some ass. See, I can rhyme and tell time, and I can't get the red star ring because I fell. Damn it. That robot will always hit me without fail. I swear to God, there's nothing I can do to get away from him. He's just, like, always on alert. Ready to kick some ass whenever Sonic shows up. Like, fuck you, Sonic! Ugh. Jeez. Oh, and now we're in a winery. Destroying barrels and running away from bigger barrels that are insanely large and squish. So, these barrels apparently have gravity for defying physics to let them squish Sonic in midair. Don't know how that's possible, but whatever, man. Whatever squishes your hedgehog. Eek. 
I kind of wanted to do this as a live commentary, but I would die way too many times. I can do some live commentaries, but um, really doing live commentaries, uh, unless you can make death entertaining, which I don't even know if I can make gameplay entertaining. <laughs> Unless you can make death entertaining, it, uh, seeing repetitive deaths gets on people's nerves. At least it gets on my nerves. I know it gets on a lot of other people's nerves. Uh, I've talked to some of my friends too, seeing excessive deaths in Let's Plays. I'm not really big fans of it, so that's kind of why I try to cut mine out. Not everything is a perfect run in my game, but I try to make sure that I get a perfect run for the recording. And Perfect run in the stage, but when I say not everything is a perfect run, I mean I don't, you know... 100% the game without dying. That's that's just not possible for me. I don't think there's any game I can't do that with. <laughs> I am not pro gamer 2017. But Sonic games are definitely my favorites. Go, go, don't get lasered, don't get lasered, don't get lasered. I didn't get lasered. Oh, you could destroy those robots, just in case you were wondering. Um, I just never bother with it, because I usually just try to get through it as quick as possible. As you can see, that's not always the best idea. I do manage to destroy this one, though. Should've destroyed the other one. Come on, nobody. Go! Also, this is probably the most unique element I've seen in a Sonic game. Jumping into the center of a clock. <laughs> It's a little weird, don't you think? <laughs> spinning the hammer, jumping into the center of a clock and then spinning it so it says 12 and then the clock opens up. It's just a little weird. Also, I always thought that Spagonia was supposed to be kind of like Italy and the clock reminds me of Big Ben, so... Yeah, I, I, I'm complaining. You're not doing your... Uh, Land generation, you're not doing your land masses right, Sonic Generations. Get it right. The same continent, not the same country. <laughs> oh god, and that's just even nitpicking. I mean, shit, clock towers exist everywhere. Hey, look, we can see Vector now! And now we're going to tackle Act 2, which is just... Now, let me preface this by saying that I am a fan of the piano, kind of. Like, I don't dislike the piano, but uh, usually, in terms of what I will listen to musically, um... Piano is good for rock and roll, but the main instrument you're listening to is usually the guitar or the drums, occasionally, right? It takes a lot of work on a piano to get me pumped, but the first time I heard that remix, I, oh my god. It was like sending chills down your spine, and music is something to me that, uh, uh, god, if I haven't said it enough already, I'm gonna say it. For the career, my entirety of career, or for the entirety of my career on YouTube, music is very important to me. <laughs> music can do things for me that drugs can do for other people. You know, I, I'm addicted to music and a bunch of other things, but mostly music. Don't do drugs, kids. But <laughs> anyway, when I first heard that piano opening and just the chills down your spine that build up, just oh, I love it. It's just so good. And when good music syncs up with the Sonic game, with the movement, and just the way the stage is progressing and the way you're doing in the stage, like that moment where I went flying over the clock tower with the music just crescendoing it, ah, oh, it's just, it's just wonderful. I could geek out over music for literally the rest of my life. And then you get this nice little breakdown here. It's just, ugh. I'm going to call this Rooftop Music Zone, because <laughs> all I'm going to talk about is the music. Oh, man. It's just so good! And then you have the opening, the, 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 the breakout into the high-speed intro. It's just... Uh, uh, we need more of this in my life. 
we need lots more of this in my life. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, Sonic Mucus, Sonic Mucus, Sonic Music is always good, but oh man, <laughs> rooftop run, modern generations mix, that's something for the ages. <laughs> uh, but as you can see, we're at the tail end of the stage. No more good music. We just have to destroy the boss, not get hit by the giant laser like me, because I'm an idiot who doesn't pay attention to when it's charging, and rush to the goal ring. Anyway, guys, that about does it for this episode. I'm going to catch you next time. I'm going to tune out already, and I'll let you just enjoy the recoloring in of Rooftop Run and the uh, little cutscene with Vector. Until next time, this is episode 7. I'm Nobody. I'll see you later. Thanks, Sonic. You know, I got a hunch someone or something is controlling that monster.